60 test. Sixty. Okay, this car has the most beautiful sound and ring to that engine I've come across in a long time. Unfortunately with this car it's a bit of a balance because it sounds beautiful but it doesn't really seem to go anywhere. Listen again to the sound of this now. Beautiful sounding, but we're not going anywhere. This is a big heavy car and it has the BMW typical build quality which is superb but there's a lot of things about this car that I, I must admit I don't like first of all it's very heavy it's like driving a tank the steering very heavy indeed and the suspension is all over the place it really does wobble whether that's worn anti-roll bar linkages I'm not too sure or maybe there's a few other bushes underneath that need attention this is a very high mileage vehicle, it's done over 150,000 miles so there could be a bush issue. But as I say the steering is very heavy. It really feels like I'm driving a car which has six people and a boot full of luggage. I don't think a car should feel that heavy. Another thing I don't like about this vehicle I think is a bit strange is the wing mirrors are very small and narrow and you know this is a big car you want to see what's going on around you and I think they could be a little bit bigger the rear view vision is perfect the headrest hardly block the, uh, the view at all the interior it's pretty nice it's uh, this fake wood fake plastic, plastic here doesn't really work in any car but generally speaking the interior of this car is very nice apart from the heavy steering and apart from the shock absorbers, this car is very good to drive. It's very solid, very certain when you're driving down the road, but it really does feel that if you had to swerve in this and you lost control of that back end, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Why this car feels so heavy, I don't know. Anybody looking at watching this video now is going to be looking at buying one of these more than likely second hand. My advice to you is if you're after an E39, especially the Taurus, you want to go for something that's got the M-Tech suspension. It makes all the difference. Secondly, have a look at the steering, take it for a test drive, give it that little bit of a wobble. A car should not boat around that much. You've got worn bushes. It's a very good point that. Look, bushes are not the end of the world, but they are MOT failures and it does affect the stability and security of the vehicle while you're driving. One thing I will conclude with on this vehicle is that the brakes, as usual with BMW, are absolutely fantastic. Look at that, amazing. They're so solid, every single caliper is working in perfect synchronization. These are well-built cars. If you're looking at going for a second-hand one, take it for a test drive, test the steering, test the shocks, and if possible, Try and get the one with the MTEC suspension, it will make all the difference.